If I want to change, what's a good way of starting? Obviously, we say here and now. Yes, that's right. The intention needs to come here and now. Bad habits need to be flicked off. The very bad habits completely eradicated. No space for them. But sometimes people do not provide us with practical solutions. I live a life. I've got to go to work. I see this. I, this happens to me. That happens to me. So how do I go about it? You know how to start off? One of the most important things. Sleep on time. Did you know that? One of the most important things when you want to change your life is to sleep on time. Wow, everyone is quiet because we're in the UK and the sun only sets after nine o'clock. Wow, see, sleep on time. If you sleep on time, you will get up fresh early morning in time for what you are supposed to get up for. And what is that? What is that? What is that? Some are saying work, some are saying fajr, some are saying tahajjud. Wow, I didn't hear anyone say breakfast. <laughs> when the eye opens, what's the first thing you should do? You want to change your life? Relate the opening of your eye to the giver of that life. Alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana. Wow, first words came out of my mouth. This is a change. The change starts with this consciousness of Allah. That's how it starts. So one might say, okay, you know what? I'm changing from today. I'm growing my beard. I'm changing from today. I'm covering myself fully, top to bottom. Good change. But if you're not conscious of the maker with that beard, you will still insult. With the good dressing, you will still insult. But when you're conscious of the maker, it's a holistic approach to the correction. This is why we say, as soon as your eye opens, first thing, Tomorrow morning, remember this, you set your clock. As soon as it rings, I hope you set a clock that rings. Subhanallah. At the right time, neither the breakfast nor the work. Inshallah, at least for the fajr. Soon as the eye opens, what are you going to say? All praise is due to he who gave me this life. Alhamdulillah, alladhi ahiyana. All praise is due to he, to Allah, who has given us this life after he had taken it away. You know the description of sleep. If you start your day with that dua, good news to you. What is to follow will be far more spiritual. It will be far more rightly guided. Your day has started on the right side, mashallah. And then you get up. I'm sure you've seen the clip where I spoke about lifting that blanket up, you know, makes you strong. When I was coming here, one of my relatives was telling me about a six pack, you know, boasting. I said, look, brother, normally the airlines that I travel on, they allow one big pack. So I don't waste my time. Allahu Akbar, six pack, wow. You can have a six pack, it won't help you. If you have that laziness in you, it's not going to let your blanket be lifted off with your strength. It requires the inner strength, even if you have one big pack, mashallah. And I'm not promoting that because it's very unhealthy. <laughs> so brothers and sisters, are we ready inshallah? We start off, we get to bed early get up in the morning. These are practical lessons. You know, one might think oh, I came all the way to listen to how to get up in the morning. Wallahi, it's a fact. Yes, you did. You did. And if you practice upon it, you will see the benefit of it. Believe me, the problem with us, it's very easy to tell. Please don't do it to me. If you know my mobile phone number, do not do what I'm about to say to me. Okay. You can check when last they were online WhatsApp. <laughs> oh, this guy tells us to sleep early. Look at him. Two in the morning. It's not me, it's automatic. <laughs> Allah make it easy. Why do we get caught with our mobile phones at night such that we sleep late, we get up groggy, we've missed our salah. You know what happens when you've missed your fajr? Then one narration says shaitan pees in your ears. So what comes out, that yellow piece that comes out is not apricot jam, nor is it wax. It's actually pee. Astaghfirullah. Allah protect us. It's a narration. You didn't get up for your salah. You better clean your ears. It's a fact of life. May Allah protect us all. Really. So it's important we get up for salah to avoid the ear being used as a we see. It's a fact. It's a fact. So if we've missed it, we're groggy. 
because we slept late, we couldn't put our phone on flight mode. Just put it on flight mode, go to bed. Believe me. Why? You fly out into dreamland. Beautiful dreams, mashallah. The minute you leave it on, every little while, beep beep, put it back. A little while, did it, put it back. What sleep, what dreams, what are you going to have? Subhanallah. May Allah protect us. So it's a practical solution. You need to be disciplined and so do I. May Allah protect us. May He grant us that discipline. Put it, block it, close it off. Someone needs you, you've got a landline. Subhanallah, they'll phone you on that landline. And then you've had a good sleep. Instead of getting up all groggy, you're upset with these people just because you haven't slept well. Now that you've slept well, the way you said, Alhamdulillah, alladhi ahyana ba'dama amatana. And the way you've read your prayers and your dua, supplications of early morning, so blessed that you feel like a nice, good, spiritual person who's ready to spend that day in the best way possible. Then you start with your early morning prayer. You declare praise of Allah. He's got you up in the morning. Beautiful cold air. You've breathed a little bit. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. You've started your prayer, declaring the greatness of Allah, putting your head on the ground for your maker. Early in the morning, you've washed up. And this is how spiritual your day is. Get up on time so you do not need to rush your prayer. Because once you've completed your prayer, sit on the spot for a little while and say a few words of praise of your maker. Tasbih. Try that out. Believe me. I am telling you, if you try this, you will see the difference in your life. Contentment, happiness, goodness. You're praising your maker, the giver of your life. Wow, subhanallah. This is why the Prophet ﷺ taught one of his wives, may Allah peace and blessings be upon all of them. He says, were you seated here from the time I left for Fajr? And now that I've come back after the sun has risen, Continuing, continuously praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She said, yes. He said, let me teach you four words. If you were to repeat them thrice, the reward of the repetition of those four words thrice will be far greater than anything that you've said in this entire time. What are those four words? Do you know them? Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. That is the word multiplied by four different statements. What are the statements? عَدَدَ خَلْقِهِ وَرِضَ نَفْسِهِ وَزِنَةَ عَرْشِهِ وَمِدَادَ كَلِمَاتِهِ Your homework is to go and find out what that means. Subhanallah. I hope I don't get 700 emails this evening. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Praising Allah. عَدَدَ خَلْقِهِ The number of His creatures. Wow, He's got countless creatures. I multiply the praise of Allah that I'm declaring by the number of his creatures and multiplied until he is pleased with that multiplication until he's happy. Subhanallah. And the weight of his throne. Wow. How that must be. He alone knows. And stretched as long as all his words or his signs. Amazing. Amazing. How many of us have uttered those words even once? When the Prophet says, you say those words just before sunrise, see what happens. You've praised Allah. You've praised your maker. And then we need to learn something else. When we praise Allah, try and think of what you're saying. Don't just utter words that you don't know the meaning of, although they will have an effect, but the effect is not maximized unless and until you're concentrating and you know the meaning of these words. At least you understand roughly what you're saying. Subhanallah. So this is why you will find if you start your day in that beautiful way, now you're up, your family is up, people are up, everyone is happy. You know, you make it a routine. We need to force ourselves off our beds. Yes, we would if we were to go to school or to work. What is work for? To earn a living, to buy a house, to buy a bit of food, to be able to live for another few years until we leave. Thereafter, Where's your house after that? You can build that by getting up a few minutes earlier. That's how you build it. So you want to earn 60,000 pounds, for example, going out to work every morning, getting up at a specific time because you know I need 60,000 pounds. And Allah tells you, had you got up 30 minutes before that, you could have earned your paradise. And had you got up two hours before that, you could have 
almost guaranteed or should I say you could have built a far better bigger place with a higher rank in paradise that's now tahajjud one step higher then we see our family first thing in the morning when we see them what should we say do you know you're supposed to greet them with assalamu alaikum do you know that and someone says but I just saw you you live with me why should I greet you well, you don't know what spirituality is all about. Your child got up in the morning, first thing they look at you, Assalamu alaikum, or you can add wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, may peace be upon you. That's the way to greet them even early in the morning. To start off with that, subhanallah, do we do it in our homes? Let's change that, inshallah. Let's start. Let's start. It will help. So much so that even in the evening when you're reclining, you greet everyone, Assalamu alaikum. People look at you, where are you going? I'm going to bed. Because we don't even know. Our parents, I'm sure, in a lot of cases used to have that. But we flicked it off. Why? Because now it's WhatsApp. That's why. BB. Did you hear something about BB? Did you hear? Can I tell you the latest news? Subhanallah. Imagine you're hearing it from me. <laughs> BB was feeling left out from Apple and Android. So they've actually applied to create an app. Did you hear that? Check the news. It's on there today. Wow. So good news to all the users of Android and Apple. You'll be having BB soon there. And the reason is those with BB don't need to divorce their BBs. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allah make it easy for us. Really. But the worry I have is now that that's going to happen, it's going to make it more difficult to do what I told you. Sleep on time. Much more difficult. So we've got one more challenge. Why? Because BB is keeping you up both ways. MashaAllah. If you understood what I said. Allah make it easy. My brothers and sisters, yes, you greet your child. You get up early, you say good words. You acknowledge the breakfast that is there, whether it is a mug of tea or whether it is a little bit more than that or less than that. You acknowledge it, you appreciate it. Try your best to have that little meal, at least collectively, not one, not singular.